Honolulu Emergency Medical Services continues to face staffing shortages on top of a high number of calls, forcing multiple ambulance units to close each day. Now officials are eyeing various solutions to keep the public safe. Christy Tomashiro has more. According to Honolulu Emergency Medical Services, there were numerous ambulance closures with the most at 9 on Sunday. Paramedics I spoke with say they're concerned about the staffing issues. It's hard to come in and do overtime and see that there's no support. You know, that the island is, you know, you look on the, on the board and there's no one available. You're the only unit available on the whole island. That's kind of a little bit of a scary feeling sometimes. EMS says the closures were due to staffing shortages, employees out on vacation, calling out sick or out with injuries. The issues exhausted by record high call volumes. We had one ambulance in the last few days that ran 22 calls in 12 hours. But there's some days in the peak call times, you know, in the, in the afternoon, where there's 30 911 calls on the call board. And with only 21 or 22 ambulances, you can't go to 30 calls. EMS officials are looking at solutions like incentives for employees and bringing back a part of its operations that was put on pause. That includes bringing back rapid response SUVs and asking supervisors to work in the field. Meanwhile, merging Honolulu EMS and fire has been proposed in the past. The firefighters union says it's an idea that needs to be taken seriously. If everybody's under one umbrella, then obviously, you know, you can come up with uh, better ideas and, um, you know, better ideas and just more, more seamless operations. This comes as the state transitions control and oversight of EMS funding from the State Department of Health over to the city. I have heard that there are some benefits where it's mainly autonomy as well as billing and charging. Uh, we'll be able to be streamlined uh, with the city and county of Honolulu and emergency services. As EMS tries to find long-term solutions for closures and staffing shortages, AMR and the Federal Fire Department continue to provide backup services. EMS wants to add a third core ambulance and is working with private providers to get three backup ambulances. For this weekend, um, our average response time was under 10 minutes across the island, and that's our goal. And so average response time wasn't significantly impacted, but, you know, I don't even care about that. I want to be there for people when they call 911 for emergencies. You know, I want them to get a highly trained paramedic from our department. And so we just have to make the changes to make that possible. Christy Tomashiro, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.